Tesla has released a safety score based on its insurance calculator. In this report, I'm going to tell you about Tesla safety scores because Tesla is now ranking drivers with a safety score. And of course, it's already going weird, says Jalopnik's uh, author Jason Torchiski, saying, unsurprisingly, judging driving behavior without context turns safety into a stupid game. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. First of all, you know that in the past couple of days, I've been, rele I've been releasing videos videos with AI voiceover. Some of them liked them. Some of them said, you know, normal human voice would be back, uh, would being back would be great. So I'm going to, I guess, do a mix friends from now on because it will help me to release more videos. And to be honest, doing five Tesla or EV videos speaking out loud is, is, is very difficult. So in this report, I'm going to tell you about Tesla's full self-driving beta, which has taken another step forward. Here's what you need to know. Friends, uh, if you would like to drive Tesla's full self-driving option car software fsd you will have to undergo a safety test first and get your safety score over the weekend tesla ceo elon musk announced an update to the company's electric car software via twitter the in-car computer now offers a button to request access to the ongoing full self-driving beta program touching the button brings up a disclaimer that Tesla will evaluate your performance as a driver to determine eligibility. In other words, Tesla will give you a safety score to determine your eligibility, how uh, good performer you are in terms of uh, a full, uh, um, eligible full, for full self-driving. The changes represent a significant expansion of Tesla's beta program, which started in October 2020. Everybody is talking in the social media about this these days and they say there are lots of slow Teslas on the US streets because everybody wants to have a good score in order to be eligible for full self-driving even if you have paid for that. The current software promises to drive the car from A to B in select conditions on the understanding that drivers will maintain concentration and intervene when necessary. This has not been always the case because a lot of people have done foolish things as we have seen in the media, people driving in the back of their Teslas whilst Tesla self-driving themselves or people sleeping while the Teslas were driving themselves. So Tesla is taking precautions and Elon Musk has said that they will always stress safety when it comes to full self-driving um, release. And also, as I reported last week uh, in California and San Francisco, uh, there were uh, people, there the authorities were concerned about this wider release of Tesla's full self-driving. This is why Tesla has introduced a um, safety score for its uh, drivers to see the eligibility for full self-driving option. It's part of the company's long-standing future goal to bring fully autonomous self-driving to every Tesla produced since October 2016. The company has missed several deadlines until now, including a much tooted cross US demonstration drive in 2017, but early beta testers have shared positive experiences with the software over social media. It comes at a tense time for Tesla friends. Why? Jennifer Humdi, head of National Transportation Safety Board, criticized the beta expansion to the Wall Street Journal, notes inverse, earlier this month. She described the term full self-driving as misleading and irresponsible and added that basic safety issues have to be addressed before they are then expanding it to other city streets and other areas. And I think Tesla is doing just that, having introducing a safety score based on its insurance calculator. In a statement to CNBC, the California Department of Motor Vehicles said the feature does not make the vehicle an autonomous vehicle per California regulations. It also claimed that it is reviewing the company's use of the term, term full self-driving. Amid the controversy, Tesla is moving ahead with the rollout of its full self-driving beta button for the wider public based on the safety score. Here is how it works. 
So, Tesla full self-driving beta, how much does it cost? Let's start, start from this front. The software, software full self-driving software, uh, is open to vehicles who run on the hardware 2 or later pro platform. Hardware 2, a series of cameras and sensors designed for fully autonomous driving, started rolling out in October 2016. Customers will also need to have paid for access to the full self-driving software. The Tesla currently charges $10,000 to unlock this feature in your Tesla. Tesla includes a complimentary upgrade to the full self-driving computer 3.0 for cars that don't already have it. Tesla also offers a monthly subscription option for those that don't want to pay so much upfront. Cars require the 3.0 computer available to select customers for 1000 plus tax. From there, the company charges $199 per month for vehicles that already have basic autopilot or $99 per month for ones that already have enhanced autopilot. So Tesla's full self-driving beta, how to sign up using the new button. Cleantechnica notes that users may have to update their car's software before they can gain access. To do this, follow these steps, friends. First, enter your vehicle and turn on the power. Second, tap controls on the touchscreen, then tap software. Third, if an update is available for your Tesla vehicle, tap update available. To schedule a time for the update, Note that the car cannot drive during a software update. Once updated, follow these steps. First, tap controls, then autopilot, then request full self-driving beta. Second, read the disclaimer. If you agree, check the box, uh, boxes and press opt in. Friends, once opted in, Tesla will evaluate whether you should get access by reading your safety score. You can access your safety score through the Tesla smartphone app. The score is available on app versions 4.1.0 or later, so ensure your app is up to date. Now, what is Tesla's safety score? On September 17, Tesla CEO Elon Musk explained that the then upcoming button would request permission to assess driving behavior. It would use the same calculator as the one for Tesla's car insurance, which offers up to 30% cheaper rates for users in California. Elon Musk claimed that if a user had a good driving record for seven days, they would receive access to the beta. As Tesla explained on its website, the safety score ranks driving on a score from 0 to 100. It does not factor in how many miles or hours a user drives. It calculates a new score every day. On Tesla's smartphone app, users can see their safety score, a mileage weighted average of the last 30 days of safety scores. Tesla claims that most drivers, drivers will have a score of 80 or above. It's important also to note that the scores are vehicle specific. If you sell your Tesla and buy a new one, or you're, um, if you're, you have enough to own more than one Tesla vehicle, your score will not transfer. The scores also won't transfer to a new owner if you sell your Tesla. Now. In social media, users have shared their experiences on the new score systems and so on. So how is it calculated? I mean the safety score. Tesla's safety score, actually the car will measure a driver's performance from the moment of user switches on the car and can drive when it is switched off. It will exclude trips during service moods, uh, mode and trip uh, trips that are less than 0.1 miles. Tesla's safety score assesses five key factors. First, forward collision warnings per 1,000 mile measures how many times the in-car collision warning is triggered over 1,000 miles. The alert is triggered when the car's system determines that a front collision with an object is likely without human intervention. Second, heartbreaking, when the driver brakes so hard that it causes backward acceleration at a force of 0.3 gram. In other words, 
If the car's speed drops more than 6.7 miles per hour in one second, this is factored into a safety score as a percentage of the total time that car reduced its speed faster than 2.2 miles per hour in one second. What percentage of time was spent heartbreaking? Third, aggressive turning. When the car accelerates left or right at a force of more than 0.4 gram, in other words, when the car's speed increased to the left or right more than 8.9 miles per hour in one second. Just like heartbreaking, Tesla is factored into the score as a percentage of the total time the car accelerates more than 4.5 miles per hour in one second to the left or right, what percentage of time was spent aggressively turning. Fourth, unsafe following or how a tesla measures the car's speed in front and the distance between the two vehicles it calculates the number of seconds the driver would have to react if the car in front stopped also known as headway unsafe following is factored into the total score as a percentage of the total time the headway dropped below three seconds and the car was traveling at least five miles per hour for how much time did the headway drop below one second Fifth, forced autopilot disengagement. A warning the driver receives when the semi-autonomous autopilot mood is enabled and the driver has removed their hands from the steering wheel. If the car warns the driver three times during the trip, autopilot is disabled for the rest of the journey. For this factor, Tesla assigns a value of one if the driver reached the three warning limit during the trip and zero if they haven't. The car will exclude any events that occur during autopilot, with the obvious exception of forced autopilot disengagement. That means, if there is a forward collision warning during autopilot, it won't count toward the total. The miles driven on autopilot do, however, count toward mileage-weighted safety scores and forward collision safety warnings per 1,000 miles. Using the above five factors, Tesla calculates a predicted collision frequency to determine how many collisions could occur every 1 million miles driven. The safety score is then calculated using a formula. Safety score equals, let's say, 115 minus 22 point and times PCF. Note that Tesla says the current formula is based on its current modeling of 6 billion miles of data. The company expects this formula to change over time because the um, formula is based on the miles uh, and data calculated. Friends, regarding Tesla safety score, Electric has an interest take saying it doesn't feel great to be a Tesla owner today, particularly one that has a vested interest in the investment in moving to self-driving vehicles. Uh, Fred Lambert from Electric says, I know I'm unlikely to be able to get access to full self-driving beta that I paid for and was promised years ago. Tesla has used the carrot of grading my driving, which it will also use in its insurance product without any guarantee that I will ever get access to the full self-driving I paid for. Keep in mind that I already leased a Model X for three years with the promise of full self-driving that came and went without ever being delivered when I returned in the last year. But it could be worse. One of our readers, Bill, uh, pointed out uh, to Electric saying Tesla has excluded early full self-driving purchasers who have MCU1 from the FSD beta button. Please do what you can to bring attention to this. I and others bought and paid for uh, FSD four to six years ago and were told our cars had everything needed for FSD. Now we're being left out in the cold while others enjoy. Tesla needs to step up and either make a fork of FSD beta for MCU1 or release everyone for FSD's MCU1 with an MCU2 free of charge and they need to do it quickly. The last time uh, Electric brought attention to the Tesla not being fair to early FSD hardware owners, Tesla CEO Elon Musk blocked 
uh, uh, electric on Twitter. So the feedback loop clearly isn't working there, electric says. And Fred Lambert says, while I'm disappointed in how this is rolling out and particularly Tesla's communication around it, I'm hoping that we do get closer to the full self-driving we have been promised for years. I'm on board with the advance of self-driving and believe it has the ability to improve productivity, safety, efficiency, and generally make life better. What do you friends, uh, what do you think about all these developments and all the safety score and so on? This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily torque news, daily uh, Tesla and electric vehicle coverage. Give us thumbs up, please, if you like this video. And like I said, I, I will probably do a mix of um, voiceovers with AI voice and my own voice speaking to you directly. I will have at least one every day or uh, several a day. Um, so uh, guys, I will see you soon in our next report. God bless you. Peace be with all of you and see you soon.